Hi, my name is Candace. I work at the Light of Life Mission, and I've been here since June. Hi, and I'm Lori. I'm the Chick-fil-A operator in Greensburg at Greengate Center. Now, our store's been there a little bit more than 10 years. And today, we're going to make the stuffed chicken peppers. First, you're going to need a full can of diced tomatoes a small container of green chilies, and you can use as much or as little as you like. Some people like it extra spicy. You can add some habaneros or whatever you prefer. Also, we have a tiny little bit of olive oil because we're going to saute a few things here, and we're going to use that. Two large Chick-fil-A grilled fillets, which we've already had pre-diced for you. Three-fourths of a cup of cooked rice. This is white rice. You can use jasmine, coconut, whatever it is you prefer. We're going to be making two stuffed peppers today, so what you want to make sure with this is that you've actually cleaned them out, you got rid of all of the little pieces, and they're ready to go, but not to waste those lids. We've chopped them up, because we're going to add that in as well. And then to top it all off, we'll use whatever kind of cheese people prefer. Today we're going to do mozzarella. First thing we're going to do is saute. So we're going to saute together the diced tomatoes and the green chilies. We'll do that for about five minutes. Just add a little bit of olive oil in there so it just doesn't stick to the pan. Once we have that all sauteed up, we're going to transfer it because we're going to add in the rest of our ingredients. Now that that's all warm and sauteed, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to add in as much of the other ingredients as you would like. Some people like a lot of protein. Some people like a little. How much are you feeling today? No, let's do a lot. Let's do it. All right. We're adding in all of our protein. And then again, you have that three-fourths cup of rice. We're going to add that and we're going to take that spoon back. If you want to mix that up, sure. we're just going to mix it all together until it's nice See all the ingredients are blended. This is the filling that we're going to use to put in our peppers. I like stuffed peppers. I usually I eat them with like ground meat. This is different. Yeah. It's probably going to be good. To Stuff this. those peppers. And you want to make sure that you do it real nice and firm so that there's a lot of packing in there. Okay. I like food. I do too. I have, so I'm happy I'm out of cookie. <laughs> all righty. Okay, we're going to transfer those over to our baking pan, if you would. Now the cheese you want to make sure that you add after it's gone through the first round in the oven because you just don't want it to burn on it. So we're going to go ahead and place those right in the oven if you would. And it's at 375 for about a half an hour. You can check on those and then we'll be adding in the cheese. Again, you can use whatever kind of cheese you prefer. Oh, our peppers are coming along really nicely. They've been in there for about 25 minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add on cheese. Think it a looks pretty more. good? A little more? Yeah. You're a cheese fan. Yeah, I am. There we go. <laughs> we'll put that back in the oven for another five minutes. But that point in time, it should be about ready to eat. And we'll make sure that that cheese is nice and melted for you. All right. Now, they're going to be super hot. Leave it on there. Let it plate for just a minute or two. That cheese is going to melt even a little bit more. Thank you for joining us today in the Mission Kitchen. It's a pleasure to have you with us.